Hello and welcome back. Find yourself seated on your mat. We're going to start in meditation. Oh, 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 oh no. What happened? Try not to face plant on your mat and everything will be alright. She calms down, I'll let everybody else calm down and get settled. Try and get through an hour without too many distractions. So this is why she should have been on Helen's mat or her blanket. Come here. You okay? Are you okay? Alright. So find yourself comfortable, seated. We're going to start um, just tuning in and listening to the singing bowl. Um, we can all cultivate an intention for global healing. <laughs> so, oh no. so we want to get um, send out some positive energy um, and some love from our hearts to all those who are fear-stricken and um, panicking over the situation at hand. Um, Maybe we can look at it as just time to spend at home with our families and be able to kind of slow down in life is so fast all the time. So maybe this is time to just kind of um, rest and restore. So we're going to begin seated and we're just going to sit and just quietly, um, we're going to tune into the bowl and just send some love for, um, from our hearts to the world um, and to those who need it more than we do in this moment. So let's all settle in and take a deep breath. Deep breath out. Two more, real deep through the nose. Exhale out. One more. Relax. yourself all the way down to the root, the base of the spine. We're going to take the right hand and bring it up and use the thumb to cover the right nostril. Take a deep breath in through the left nostril. Switch and exhale. Switch, breathing in. Switch, exhale. Switch, breathing in. Switch, exhale. And slowly bring your hand back to your lap in a seated meditation. And we're going to take some of that love from our hearts. We're going to bring the hands together at the heart. Maybe have the palms separated just a little bit, maybe touching just the fingertips. And we're going to breathe in and reach the hands up, casting out healing and love, opening up the hands and spreading our love out. Bring the hands down all the way, taking a deep breath in, exhaling out. 
Now we'll slowly come forward on our mats into child's pose. Try and keep a more traditional flow today. It's also very rainy out, so more of a fiery practice is good to, to kind of balance out. So we're gonna come forward with our knees wide. Try and touch the toes together behind. <laughs> we're gonna walk the hands out and just ground the third eye center down onto the mat. Stretching the spine out. And just taking three really deep breaths. Breathing in. And out. Breathe in. And out. We'll do one more. Breathe in real deep. Exhale out. Slowly coming up to all fours. I'm going to be assisting on Ms. Ashley here. So we're going to do some cat and cows. So we're going to take the forehead, we're going to breathe, bring it up, breathe in, get up. Exhale, curling the spine. Up. Deep breath in, bringing the chin up, dropping the belly down, and then curling the spine up on the exhale. <laughs> Breathe in, chin up. Exhale, try and touch my palm. There you go. And then just come to neutral spine. And we're going to come back now into child's pose. So we're going to come down both at... Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> I was on her hands. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Take your right hand and thread it through. Underneath the left arm. No, no, it wasn't her. She's okay. So we're in child's pose when we're threading the needle. We take a deep breath into the right shoulder. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Third breath, come up. Place your hand right next to the other one. We're gonna take the left hand now, thread it through, place the left shoulder down onto the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhaling out. And we're gonna breathe in, come back to child's pose. <laughs> Touch your forehead onto the mat, and then slowly come back up to neutral spine, all fours. So we're going to do one cat and cow, so just breathe in, lift the chin up. Come back to neutral, flip the toes, and then raise all the way up into downward facing dog. Take a second, you can move your bolster or your pillow or whatever you have and just kind of walk out a little bit, shake the head, let everything go. We'll take a deep breath, come up onto the tippy toes. Exhale, grounding the heels down. Breathe in, tippy toes. Exhale, grounding down. Sorry, Allo. <laughs> you okay? Breathe in, come up. And then down. Take the right foot, place it in the center of the mat in the back, lifting the left foot up, all the way up. And now we're going to step the left foot, replacing the left in. Slowly rise up into crescent lunge, bringing the fingertips real wide up toward the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, cactusing the arms. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, cactus. Breathe in, reach up. Connecting the palms together. Then opening up, high five. Down to the lower back. Slowly hinging forward. Humble warrior. Deep breath in. Exhale out. 
Deep breath in. Exhale out. One more time, breathe. Bring your hands down to your mat. We're gonna step forward with the right foot. Halfway lift. Breathe, look forward. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, halfway. No, let them out. Exhale, fold. Let them out? Yeah, sure. Slowly rise up all the way this time. You're gonna do a little dog yoga today. There they are. Breathe in, reaching up toward the sky. Fingertips really wide. And now you're gonna pull the hands together like you're capturing starlight up above. Beep, beep. And then bringing it down. <laughs> what happened now? Dog knocked her over. Oh no. Excuse me. So bring your hands down to your heart. We're gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale, folding forward. Come on. Now we're gonna step the left Come foot on. back Come on. into crescent lunge and then rise up. Come on. Reaching the palms up toward the sky. Relaxing the shoulders, cactus the arms. Breathe and reach up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Breathe and reach. Connecting the palms together and opening them up. Coming down into Humble Warrior. Slowly bringing the crown of the head forward. Take a deep breath. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Breathe in. Place the hands down onto your mat. Stepping forward into forward fold. Halfway lift, breathing in. Look forward, make it a pose. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, halfway. Exhale, fold. Now we're gonna come all the way up, pulling energy from the earth all the way up through the body. Then up through the crown of the head, reaching up, fingertips wide. Again, like we're capturing starlight in between the hands, bringing it down to the heart. And then breathe that light into your heart. Exhale out. Now we're gonna breathe in, reach the hands back up, and then cast that light from our heart out. And then slowly just bring your hands down until we're standing in mountain pose. Notice the soles of the feet. Maybe if you wanna lean back a little bit, feel the heels just as far as you can without losing your balance. And then leaning forward just as far as you can. And then back down straight. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Breathe in, come back, hands to heart. Exhale, forward fold. As we're folding, we're gonna touch the fingertips down to the mat, take the right foot, step it back and off to the side. This time we're gonna open up warrior two. So we're gonna come all the way up and around like a rainbow across the sky, right up over your head. Fingertips wide, relax the shoulders down, deep warrior two. Breathe in. Exhale out. Deep breath. Exhale. Flip the palm, reach back, real slow, straight up, then straighten the knee. Reaching back, stretching the whole left side of your body. And coming back into warrior two stance, but in triangle pose. Hinge forward, so your fingertips are right over the toes. Then lean down into triangle. Looking up toward the right hand. Deep breath in. Exhale out. I'm gonna come straight up, pivoting the left foot forward. 
So we're facing the side wall, look up, fingertips wide, opening the heart to the skies above, bringing the hands together, same motion as before, pulling light from above down into the heart. Taking a deep breath. Exhale, coming down, sending some of that love down into earth. Take a deep breath. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. One more time. On the exhale, we're going to bend the right knee, so we're coming into a lunge. Point the left toes up toward the skies, take your fingertips, bring it up, straight, look following the hand. Hold, deep breath. As you exhale, bring the hand down, float over to the other side. Right toes up toward the sky. Point your fingertips toward the toes, bring it up, looking up. Exhale, bring the hand down. Pet, pet Monty, hi buddy. Come back up, forward fold. Slowly rising up with the breath. Reaching up through the body, through the crown. All the way up to the skies above, fingertips wide, looking up, bringing the hands together, down to the heart. Now we're going to slowly pivot forward, reach up, exhale forward fold, one solid flow, step up with the right foot. Step back with the left, setting up warrior two, up and around straight up over the head, landing in your warrior two, relaxing the shoulders, deep breath in, exhale out, breathe in, exhale out, flipping the palm, reaching back, breathing. Stretch the whole right side of the body, then straighten the knee, go even further, then come into warrior two in triangle, hinge forward, then slowly drop the hand down, coming into triangle pose, looking up toward the left hand. Take a deep breath. Exhale out. Slowly rising up into five-pointed star, tilting back, opening up your heart, bringing the hands together, capturing light, igniting the heart with the breath, exhale, forward fold, send it down to earth, take a deep breath in, Exhale out. Deep breath. And out. Walk your hands over to the right side. Reach up with the right hand. Slowly bring that hand down, walking over to the next side. Reaching up. Coming back to center. Slow rise, take it easy, straight up, hands all the way up overhead, tilting the head back, bringing the hands, palms together, come down and slowly start shifting forward, one solid motion, reach your hands up, palms facing front and then forward fold. And we're going to take that right foot, we're going to step back. Just take a moment in downward facing dog to just feel into the body and just see how that simple movement practice felt and how it resonated with the body. And then bring the knees down. 
slowly coming down back into hero's pose. You can even take your hands and bring them back and then stretch out the thighs, quads. And then just come straight up into hero's pose. Take the hands, we'll shake the hands out a little bit. Kind of brush off anything that we had built up inside. <clears throat> we'll take a deep breath, roll the shoulders up. And back. Exhale, grounding. Deep breath. Exhale out. Breathe. Exhale out. Now slowly bring the hands up to the heart center. Just acknowledging the heart, breathing into that space. As we exhale, we'll open the hands up wide out. Straight out to the sides, flipping the palms upward, raising the hands back up overhead. And now as we're coming up, we're going to come up onto the knees, lean back, cactusing the arms, looking up, bringing the hands to the lower back, and coming into camel pose. Slowly start to come back down. Coming back down onto the heels. Breathe in, reach your hands straight up. Back down to the heart. Deep breath in. Exhale, open the hands up. Flipping the palms upward. As we breathe in, we're coming up onto the knees and then reaching the hands up, reaching back, then cactusing the arms, bringing the hands to the lower back, opening up into camel pose. Slowly come down. Bring the hands back to the heart. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Just close the eyes and just sit. You can bring the hands down to Dhyana Mudra if you'd like, to have the right hand up above the left, the thumbs together. Allow yourself to just fully let go and just be here. Trying to be still. Hopefully we can have some quiet. No, no quiet. Not around here. We just accept exactly what's going on. If I could sit in this peace, even in some chaos. Just taking deep breaths. I'm slowly opening up the eyes. And then we acknowledge what's going on around us and take this dog and move him out of my way. <laughs> we're gonna slowly walk our hands forward. We're gonna come up into downward facing dog just for the transition. Hey puppies. We're gonna walk the feet out a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. Shh, shh. Slowly start to walk your feet up toward your hands. And then you're in forward fold. Ground the feet down, even if you want to take the hands and then push your, the soles of the feet down. Then slowly rising up. Staying grounded in the feet. Coming up into mountain pose, flipping the palms outward, just bringing the crown of the head up tall. Release all the breath. Then take a breath in. And relax. Exhale. Now we're going to breathe in, reaching the hands up. 
Staying rooted down in the feet, bringing the hands all the way up toward the sky, connecting the palms together, and then down to the heart. As we're arriving at the heart, we're gonna shift all the weight over into the left foot. And we're gonna slowly bring the right foot up into tree pose. You could either go on the shin or you could bring it all the way up. Just avoid the knee. And just hold stillness. Find something to stare at, something not moving. Breathe. Slowly breathing in, you can express if you'd like. And then as slowly exhaling, coming down to the heart. And we'll take a moment, once you ground that other foot down, take your hands and just sway back and forth. Just kind of find your balance, find your center. Shaking off any stress, let it flow right off the fingertips. And then take your feet. And you can also kick your feet out a little bit, shake off completely. Then get, take a step, get grounded in the feet again. Breathe and roll the shoulders up and back. Puppies, stop. Relax your shoulders down. Breathe in, reach up. Connect the palms together up above. Slowly bring your hands down to your heart and then shift all your weight over into the right foot now, and then slowly come up into tree. Find yourself still. Breathe. You can express if you like. You can bring the hands up. Extending your branches. Oh, I almost lost it there. Staying rooted, expressing the branches. Keeping the core centered and tight. Slowly bring everything back down to that core center. Step your foot back down. Monty, please. Slowly start swaying out. Sway your arms, breathe. You wanna go outside? Go outside, boy. Go out. <laughs> That's a good way to get real. <sighs> take your feet, take your feet out. Come on. Maybe we'll get some peace and quiet just for a minute here while they're outside. <clears throat> Welcome to the cool residence. <clears throat> All right. You can even bring the hands straight out in front of you like this. Just kind of stretch the shoulders out. We'll take the right hand, bring it over. All these simple stretches that we could do in the morning, we could do in the afternoon, when we're just stressing, maybe in the middle of the workday or whatever. Just taking a few breaths, some simple stretches. I mean, people might think you're weird if you're at work and you're sitting there swaying like this or something. <laughs> But you can just do something simple, you know? Just taking yourself, opening up the heart, taking a few deep breaths. So find yourself centered in the center of your mat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in, we're gonna reach the hand straight up over the head, all the way up, fold straight forward. And now just like we did before, this time we're gonna walk the hands out. So we're walking the hands to the front of the mat. Then walk the feet to the back. We land back in downward facing dog. We're gonna take the right foot first and slowly breathing in, lifting it up, opening up the hip. And then we're gonna take that right foot, we're gonna bring it, the right knee to the right elbow, 
and then bring the shin bone sideways behind the hand, setting up into pigeon pose. If you'd like to set up, you know, have the shoulders wide first before you get down. Take a deep breath. Slowly come down onto the forearms or bring your third eye center all the way down into prayer. Take a deep breath. Relax. Let go. Be present. Be love. Slowly start to come up, breathing in, bringing the chin all the way up, open heart, slowly start to switch sides. Baby, keep him in the camera, man. Down on your feet out. We're going to go to the left now, so we'll take the left foot, bring it all the way up, open the hip. Slowly bring it forward, shin bone sideways, behind the wrists, coming in to pigeon on the opposite side. I like to take a moment to set it up, take a breath and slowly come down into it. Let's all take a moment and send some healing energy to the earth, to the people. Let everybody be able to have a moment of love, a moment of tranquility in their life. Slowly start to come up. Heart up. Um, lean over to the left. Bring the right foot up and around. Allow yourself to sit in meditation. I'm. You guys can sit in meditation. What I'm going to do is provide some sound because I have this dog biting me. Um, so maybe when I start making some noise, it'll stop. Slowly reach your feet out in front of you. I 
apologize for all the distractions. This isn't the easiest place to be doing yoga, or especially <laughs> trying to teach it. Um, I'm doing the best I can now, I apologize. So take your hands, reach up, slowly folding forward, reaching down for the toes, taking a deep breath in, exhale out, deep breath in, and out. Breathe in, slowly come up. Reaching your hands all the way up overhead. Bringing the palms down to the heart. Take another breath. Exhale. Now we're gonna bring the hands down to the mat. I want you to scoot forward and then bring the back straight down onto your mat. Soles of the feet flat down. And we're going to rise up into bridge pose. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Breathe. And this Exhale, start to come down, real slow. Now we'll breathe in and bring the knees up, and then go side to side, releasing pressure on the lower back. Bring the feet straight up toward the ceiling. Slowly lower down about halfway. Start to kick your feet. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. And out. One more breath. Out. Now bring the feet straight up. Then slowly lower them all the way down. And we're going to hug the right knee into the chest. Take a deep breath. Relax, exhale out. Grab the right knee with the left hand and twist off into supine twist. Deep breath. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Breathing in, coming back up. Switching sides. Pull the left knee in tight. Deep breath in. Exhaling out. Grab the left knee with the right hand, twist off the other way. <clears throat> Take a deep breath. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Slowly coming back up. <clears throat> we'll bring both knees up. Make circles this time. Around the lower back. And then we'll go the opposite way. Bring the feet straight up. Slowly lower them down. <clears throat> Until you're hovering the feet about six inches above the mat, take some flutter kicks, deep breath, exhale out, breathe in, exhale out, two more breaths, exhale out, 
and release, relax. Flip the palms facing upward. Take a deep breath in. Channel in to the, up to the crown of the head. On the exhale, relax the mind, the jaw muscles, the throat, the eyes, closing the eyes. Come down into the shoulders. Allow the shoulders to be easy. Resting. Breathing in, coming down through the arms. Down the spine. Relaxing the hips, all the muscles of the body. Down the legs, the thighs, the joints of the knees, just bringing healing energy all the way through the body. Down through the calves. All the way through the feet. <laughs> Down to your toes. And just allow yourself to be here floating. Maybe bring a gentle smile to your face. Send some loving energy all throughout your body.
take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Breathing into that heart center. And love down to your hands and your feet. Wiggle the toes and the fingers. Slowly begin to bring your knees up into the chest. And then roll up off onto your right side for infant's pose. Placing the third eye center down onto the mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Take a moment of gratitude. Be grateful for your health, for your well being. Be grateful to still be able to enjoy our practice from at home, despite all the distractions. And slowly make your way back up to a comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed. When you arrive back up into your seat, try and get very present into the body and notice how the practice felt. Maybe take a moment to reflect on what was happening energetically in your bodies or what was happening in your mind. Notice how you feel now compared to when we started. And take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just ground yourself down, rooting back down to the base of the spine. Get heavy in your seat. Now take a deep breath in, bringing the hands back to the heart. Exhaling, acknowledging the heart. And taking some of that love, breathing in, sending it up above the crown of the head. And then slowly bringing the hands back, pulling some light of the divine back down to the heart. So we're in this space of sharing, sending and receiving. And I'd like to send from my heart to yours a beautiful rest of the week. And I hope to see you all again next week, hopefully in the studio. Um, have a wonderful night. Namaste. Kitties. See, you could have hung out with me the whole time. Yep. You like to do yoga, see? Yeah. This is Chromio. This is my little yoga mascot. Chromo. The one that does not distract me or bite my hair during practice. Chrome bones. Not really, he's a good boy. Come here. We're going to come up. We're going to say bye to the camera, okay? Thank you all so much. Sorry about the distractions. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.